guys check out the freaking jdm toyota land cruiser that's right it's right hand drive this thing is fully loaded this thing is rad look at that all the way from maine wow they're on the opposite side of the country back with another video we don't have Carmen with us today. I actually just dropped her off to her hair appointment. So we'll be picking her up here soon. So we're gonna do some hot wheel hunting. In the meantime, have you guys entered our September giveaway? If not, please click the video above. Make sure you go leave a comment, assess, enter for your chance to win. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video, guys. We have lots of cool stuff, plus some stuff we're gonna be opening. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words. As we are here, um, doesn't look like too much new, but we're gonna take a quick peek through the pegs and uh, see what else we got going on. We do have lots of leftover neon speeders. Definitely no Porsches left behind. As we got some moving parts. Nobody wants the off-road rally. Nobody definitely wants the Ridge Raider. Fantasy left behind. All right, what else do we have? What is that, Holden? That's cool. Holden, VF, Commodore. What else do we got over here? We got some Porsches, Nissans, we got a fire truck. Bronco, we got a cool VW Golf MK1. Pretty sweet, leave it behind for the V-Dub guys. Man, nobody's wanting the uh, Volkswagen um, Porsche sets. Um, we do have a few leftover Brie Dotson sets. I think that's a killer set, um, but there's lots of those left behind. The Mercury hauler, got the Coke hauler. Some leftover M2s. Pontiac Firebird, Dodge Van, got the Funny Car Camaro, the Ford Econoline, another Dodge Van, Too Fast, Too Furious, Toyota Supra, left behind in the 124. Ooh, got a beautiful Dodge Charger, wide body, 66 Ford Mustang Fastback, and we got the Cord Nuts V Dub Bus. And it looks like we're still sitting on some of these M2 left behinds. We got some dioramas with the uh, people. It doesn't look like they put too much up at the tower. Pretty much looks the same. You can see it's starting to thin out. Um, there was a lot, a lot of fantasy stuff. And uh, that's about how it's looking right now. Fantasy cars and uh, Pontiac and a Fiat. So pretty much fantasy cars. And uh, it's definitely looking a little thin. Yep, you can see she's looking picked over. And uh, yeah, no bueno. All right, guys, next stop, Fred Meyer. Let's see uh, what they got going on. And uh, looking like the same old leftovers in the dump bin. Looks like somebody had a few cars grouped together. Are any of you guys picking up any of these Halloween cars? Um, I think I'm a total pass on that. Uh, there's nothing more I hate than fantasy cars. And uh, if you put Halloween theme on top of that, oh man. And we still got the candy leftovers. Lots of those. Those will be sitting there for a long time to come. Leftover main lines. So we got the gas door variant right there. A couple Audis. And it uh, looks like we got some team transport left behind. We are still on the lookout for that Liberty Walk Skyline Transport. Of course, it looks like there is nothing here. So there was probably a couple of those that, of course, got taken. And we got some character cars. And uh, pretty much that is it. We got some pop culture premium leftover. And some vintage racing club leftover. And we got a Ford GT40. And yeah, it doesn't look like too much going on here. Some moving parts. I've been sitting there a long, long, long time, as you can see. And that is about it, guys.
As you can see here, um, these main lines have been sitting here a long time. They are a whopping dollar now, so that's cool. Yep. Looking like mostly old stuff, leftovers, um, a lot of dump bin cars. All right, well here, here's some new stuff here. You can see here we got the uh, two Volkswagen Golf. Uh, we got the Twin Mill, some anniversary cars here. Ford Sierra Cosworth, Twin Mill, Twin Mill, and another Cosworth. What are the other ones that it comes? Oh yeah, that S14 drift car. That would be sweet. And there's a custom 77 Dodge Van and a 2020 GR Toyota Supra. Yep, none of those left behind, um, but that is pretty cool. We got a pretty much full display of the cartoon cars. Let me know down in the comments, are you guys picking up any of these? Um, we did pick up one of these uh, green C10s back at the house. We're going to go ahead and open up one of those once we get back. Um, but yeah, you can see there we've got the Camaro. Um, we got the uh, purple C10, and it is not a chase. People think that this might be a chase because of its gold wheels, but you can see there that one's got gold wheels as well. Got a Camaro, got the Bel Air, hot pink, got the Impala, and you got another Bel Air in hot pink, Corvette in red, K5 Blazer, Camaro, Impala, Camaro, C10, Blazer, Blazer, Bel Air, Corvette. Impala, Camaro, Camaro. I think we're gonna go ahead and pick up one of these Impalas as well. And we're gonna be uh, checking it out to see um, how that suspension works. I heard it kind of has like some um, adjustable suspension on these. Um, let me know down in the comments how you tell um, the chase apart from the rest. I've heard there is a chase in these. Let me know down in the comments how to tell, because I don't know. All right guys, we're here at the Target. Cross your fingers. We need to find something. And uh, well, we're going to check out the uh, Jada. So we got Brian's uh, Lancer Evo from Too Fast, Too Furious. And uh, looks like we got Hans RX-7 from Tokyo Drift. And we got Dom's Charger. This thing looks beautiful. And uh, oh yeah, okay. I think I might have to pick this up because I swear the other chargers I have have like a Phantom grill. I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to have to pick this up. Um, so hope I'm right. All right. We got some Auto World two packs, Camaro, Firebird, got the Corvette Viper, got the Pontiac Buick, a couple of those, and we got a Camaro, some Johnny Lightnings. Pretty much leftovers there. Let's keep it moving. Got some other 124s, beautiful R35. We got the uh, Chevelle. And Letty's Viper, some leftover moving parts. And what do we got? We got some two packs, leftovers. Nobody's wanting those. And looks like we got a Land Rover Defender left over there, a couple of those. And some pop culture leftovers, some ultra hots that nobody wants. Dotson 510, that's pretty cool. And we got the Porsche 935. We got the Honda Civic City Turbo. I think I might have to pick one of those up. We do not have that one. That one actually looks pretty darn sweet. It's got some like Spectre Flame going on. Definitely gonna grab that. What else we got? Dodge 300, Triumph. Yeah, the Dotson's actually pretty sweet. Looks pretty good. But I think I'm going to leave it behind. Are you guys picking up any of these 143s? Let me know down in the comments. I am leaving them behind. Uh, looks like we got a Porsche Turbo panoramic roof. That thing's actually pretty cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to leave those behind. I don't know. Are you guys picking them up? Let me know. And got the Duck and Glow. Looks like these are mostly looking like leftovers here. Not much but fantasy. And let's see, we do have an NSX. So we'll probably pick that up. And we got a Porsche 911 Turbo tuned. And I'll probably leave that behind. And we got the 70 Dodge Charger tuned. Leave that behind as well. 
At least we grabbed a couple things. I think it's pretty cool. I like these Hondas. And I'm curious to know if the chargers that I have at home have this grill or the Phantom grill. I could swear they have a Phantom grill. So this is definitely more accurate to Dom's 70 Dodge Charger from the first film. So we will have to see. It's been a long time since we hit a Dollar Tree. And this is exactly why. Three fantasies. That's it. And it's been even longer since I've checked a Walgreens. So let's see here. I don't even know where to look anymore. And they got a few cars hanging here. Bel Air, Audi, Fantasy, Wheelchair, Ambulance, Fantasy, Fantasy. And all right, we got some cars here. Do we have a Sylvia? We are probably not lucky enough to get a Sylvia. Look at that. We got so many tuned Volkswagen Golfs. And we got the uh, Ford Sierra Cosworths. And we got a tuned twin mill. That is that. Got some 132 scale Fast and Furious Jada. Some five packs. Some eight packs. But yeah. Does not look like we are lucky enough to get anything. If you guys are wondering, I'm actually hot wheel hunting on the way back to get Carmen. We got to pick her up from the hair salon. So uh, we'll definitely be uh, checking out to see how her hair looks. What do you guys think? Brown, blonde, or black hair? Uh, let me know down in the comments. You never know with Carmen. With her nails, her hair, it's always different every other day. So anyways, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let's uh, take bets right now. So we're here at a food pavilion. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've actually checked a grocery store. Um, to tell you the truth, I really only checked Target, Walmart, and Fred Meyer, to tell you the truth, for the most part. Um, let me know down in the comments, what are you guys checking? I think I need some new spots. So I have some time to kill, so I figured I would check the grocery store. Honestly, guys, the reason why I only checked the big box stores is because this is pretty much what you see anywhere else. And uh, that's every single time. I've never seen any more than that, to tell you the truth. Let's keep looking. And I found three more Batmobiles. All right, guys, we got just enough time to check one more Walgreens. Here we are, we're pulling in right now. And uh, I don't think I've ever found a single car at this store as far as a keeper. But uh, I don't know, guess we gotta have faith, huh? <laughs> And we do have some more cars here. Are we gonna be lucky enough? And we got nothing but Golfs and Twin Mill and Ford Sierras. And we got one main line there. Something's falling down here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we found something guys. Will you look at that head falling down below. We do have a 2020 Toyota GR Supra. I think we're gonna have to pick this up. If we could only find that Nissan Silvia, that would be rad. Pretty awesome, we got that GR wide body Supra. All right guys, blonde, black, or brown? We do not know. I'm just gonna park now, sit and wait for her. All right guys, here she comes. What color is it? Oh, it's a little bit of everything. Huh? We have a bet going on what color your hair is gonna be. It's the same. Who has That's a definitely looks different to me. Why is my drink all the way underneath the seat? Oh, probably because they went flying when I hit the brakes. <laughs> Why'd you have to hit? Uh -huh. Oh, you got the car you wanted. All right, it is uh, black with blonde. Mm -hmm. Looks good. All right, guys, we're back at the crib. Let's check out what we got this week. All right, let's dive right on in. Today we scored on this beautiful 2020 Toyota GR Supra. This thing is pretty darn cool. We also got an ultra hot Honda City Turbo 2 in its red Spectra Flame. Beautiful little car. We also got another one, Hot Wheels of the 90s, 90 Acura NSX in yellow. Beautiful. Not sure if you guys saw my reel or not, but yes, we scored on another beautiful M2 1976 GMC Sierra Grande 15 Desert Fox Chase. This thing is beautiful. Awesome gold grill, gold base, gold interior, gold bumpers, gold wheels, gold screwdriver, and gold lift. We're definitely going to be putting this with our other M2 Chases. 
this thing is awesome as you guys know i'm a chevy fan and not only that but a square body chevy fan so this is definitely the holy grail of chases as far as i think so super pumped to add this in the collection i also picked up another slide street to 2018 ford mustang and there's just something about this mustang uh, that i just want to open i'm not really a mustang fan um, although I do like Mustangs, I'm just not crazy on them. Personally, I probably would never own one, but I really wanted to get one of these and crack it open. I did crack open the uh, Nissan, um, so we're going to go ahead and crack this baby open. All right, there she is. I really like the color scheme on this. It's got its like destroyer gray paint with its highlighted yellow accents. I think this is a pretty nice looking premium, nice real riders with its little yellow accent on the wheel, nice front splitter. Yeah, I think this thing is so sweet. And uh, yeah, she rolls just beautiful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you guys picking up this beautiful Mustang from the Slide Street 2? Or are you guys leaving her behind? I've seen quite a few left behind at this point on the pegs. We did get the Nissan 240 and the Lamborghini Huracan back there. We also picked up a couple cartoon vehicles. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my reel or not, but a lot of you guys are think are saying you guys are leaving these behind. Some of you guys like them, some of you guys don't. Um, I don't hate them. I just they're not really quite for me. Um, I do think they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, crack these open and see what all the hype is about. I got an Impala and I have a C10. I am a C10 fan, so I think it'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and crack one of these things open and see what all the hype is about. So you got your double blister here. And uh, yeah, they feel about as heavy as a Hot Wheels car. So you do got your metal casting, plastic base, got your staggered wheels. It's got some pretty green sparkly paint. Not sure if you guys can see that. See how these things roll. They roll pretty good. Um, they also have like a real wobbly uh, suspension or something. But uh, they're pretty cool looking. I mean, it's kind of a cool little tuned vehicle. Uh, if you guys are into tune um, stuff, you guys might like these. So let's go ahead and crack open the Impala and see what all the hype is about that. You got your double blister. And same thing, about as heavy as a Hot Wheels car. Pretty darn cool. And uh, same thing, it's got some kind of wobbly suspension. And uh, I think I heard that you can kind of adjust the suspension yeah, if you look at this one, it almost has like a C-notched frame there. Um, it does look like you can kind of pop the suspension out. I don't know. Can you? What's the truck have? No, the truck has almost the same thing. So I don't know. Can you adjust the suspension? I heard people were saying that you can adjust... The suspension but maybe maybe you can't i don't know let me know down in the comments what you guys think um these are definitely definitely pretty tuned looking they do have some pretty cool card art they're definitely eye-catching um i like the concept i just don't know if they're for me um but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments are you guys picking up any of these tuned cars we gotta know a couple weeks ago, we did get our RLC GMC Typhoons. Well, we accidentally got two, and I figured we'd either open one or use it for trade. Well, in this case, uh, one of the bubbles was kind of loose on the corner. Um, I tried to put a little bit of glue down to help hold it down, and it just turned white. So I think that this means we're just going to open it. So let's see what all the hype is about. This will be our first RLC unboxing. And uh, there it is, fresh out the package. Lots of detail underneath the hood. Beautiful real riders. Super glossy, smooth paint. Lots of detail on this thing. I love the detail underneath the bottom. You can see there the drive shaft. You got the uh, rear axle, 
the rear leaf springs, you got the fuel tank there in the back, as well as the transmission pan and the oil pan and uh, the front cross member and uh, control arms and stuff like that. Thing looks great. Super nice looking RLC. The hood opens and closes super smooth. This is one of the nicest uh, Hot Wheels cars I've ever opened, in my opinion. This thing is beautiful. See how she rolls. Definitely rolls nice. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments of the GMC Typhoon. Uh, were you lucky enough to get one? Let us know. I also picked up this 124 scale Fast and Furious 70 Dodge Charger. This is Dom's Dodge Charger. You can see there, it's, it looks a little bit different. We actually have one racing seat. You can see there the fire extinguisher on the passenger floorboard. Uh, it's got the roll cage. And uh, you can see there, you got the uh, red butterfly flappers right there in the buzzard catcher. And uh, yeah, I thought that maybe this one had like a phantom grill, but I think that's the 132 scale. But uh, this thing looks beautiful. And if you compare it up here to our other 124 scale um, version of Dom's Charger, uh, this one doesn't have a roll cage. It has two front seats. It does not have the red in the buzzard catcher. And it's just slightly different. You can see there, you do not have your rear quarter glass up. Right there, you have the rear quarter glass. So these two are slightly different cars. You can also see that this one has um, a side marker in the front. And this one does not. So you do have a few um, variances here. This one also has a chrome fuel cap. This one has a painted silver fuel cap. I do like this newer version a little bit more. Of course, there were several Dodge Chargers in the Fast and Furious franchise, so not sure which one is supposed to be which from which movie. Um, we might have to look back at some film and try to figure it out. I also have another Ford Focus RS in the shop right now. We're redoing a brand new front bumper for it, and uh, the customer had asked if we could do a Hot Wheels uh, car for him, and uh, you guys know me. Of course we can. So he brought in his own Ford Focus, and we color matched it in the B9 Stealth Gray paint code. And of course we did some real riders. Uh, we drilled, tapped it, put some machine screws. We painted in the details. And I think he's going to be pretty darn pumped when he sees this thing. Um, we also, of course, had to throw in another Ford Focus moving parts. As you guys know, these ones come blue. And I went ahead and took this one apart. I didn't do any real riders for this one. Uh, because the cars are a little bit narrower than the Hot Wheels version, so our wheels stuck out a lot. Um, I would have to do some custom axles um, to get the uh, wheels to fit in the Matchbox car. But same thing, use the B9 paint code. So you can see there, this one has the hood that opens. You know, we could order some wheels and some axles to do this car, but I think he's going to be pretty pumped. So we definitely have a couple... Um, versions of a Ford Focus RS here, but I'm super pumped how these things came out. They look super good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of these customs. Not sure if you guys saw my reel or not on the homemade super treasure hunt. That's right, guys. You guys do not have to actually go out and find a super treasure hunt. You can actually just make your own at home, just like this one. This is the D-Case Mercedes-Benz super treasure hunt. This is just the main line Mercedes-Benz that we customized. Of course, we carefully um, took apart the card, stripped it, painted it in some red candy. We wheel swapped it with the, uh, the exotic MV Porsche wheels. And uh, we tried our best to do the details there on the back. You can see the TH as well as details on the headlights. It looks pretty darn close. Of course, the card art, the red is a little bit different and it has black wheels on the card art. Go with the mainline version of the Mercedes. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see here, here is the real Super Treasure Hunt version. This is a true authentic D-Case Super Treasure Hunt. Guys, you can see how close we really were right here. Of course, these wheels are just slightly different from the exotic MV Porsche, um, but from a quick glance, um, these both look like Supers. 
Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, should we make some more super treasure hunts? Should we go take this and put this on the pegs in the store? Let us know down in the comments what you guys think we should do with this super treasure hunt um, that we made. But uh, yeah, we did a pretty darn good job. Uh, I think we might try a few more. I would love to do the El Camino um, in a super treasure hunt. But uh, yes, let me know down in the comments. Uh, what you guys think we should do with our homemade super treasure hunt guys don't sleep make sure you click the video above to go and enter our official september giveaway that's right we're giving away three prizes to three lucky subscribers we're going to be giving away a nitro slap sticker a white honda civic si a purple passion treasure hunt plus a cool combi barbie bus signed by yours truly carmen herself that's right you guys will be getting all three cars plus a nitro slap sticker so we have three of everything that will be going to you guys so make sure you guys watch that video that we linked above and make sure you guys go leave your comments that say enter it's 100 free if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys can please click the thumbs up button on this video leave a comment down below let us know what you think of our finds if you guys haven't yet Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Ooh, like LeBron, oh, or like Bronzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't try.